Hello there and welcome to the Cryptocurrency Secrets Module. I'm sure many of you are curious of this so-called 21st century money of the future. Congratulations, because you've come to the right place, and I applaud you for taking action by going through this course as the future of cryptocurrency looks bright ahead. This video is broken down to eight chapters, which explains the important facts as well as the tricks of the trade that you'll need to know about this digital currency. I promise you by the end of this video, you'll know more about cryptocurrency than most people out there. This means you'll be ready to kickstart your very own cryptocurrency portfolio when you've completed this course. For the first chapter, we'll be covering five topics. One, what is cryptocurrency? Two, how do cryptocurrencies work? Three, how are the cryptocurrencies value determined? Four, what is cryptocurrency used for? Five, why cryptocurrency? What is cryptocurrency? This is one of the most frequently asked questions out there. What is cryptocurrency? To make it simple, cryptocurrency is a digital version of money where the transactions are done online. A cryptocurrency is a medium of exchange just like your normal everyday currency, such as the US dollar, but designed for the purpose of exchanging digital information through a process known as cryptography. The first ever successful cryptocurrency emerged from the invention of Bitcoin by Satoshi Nakamoto. This was then followed by the birth of other types of cryptocurrencies competing against Bitcoin. So, how do cryptocurrencies work? The reason why cryptocurrencies are in such demand right now is because Satoshi Nakamoto successfully found a way to build a decentralized digital cash system. Now, what is a decentralized cash system? A decentralized cash system means the network is powered by its users without having any third party, central authority, or middleman controlling it. Neither the central bank nor the government have power over this system. The problem with a centralized network and a payment system is the so-called double spending. Double spending happens when one entity spends the same amount twice. For example, when you purchase things online, you have to incur for unnecessary expensive transaction fees. Usually, this is done by a central server that keeps track of your balances. This is most commonly known as the blockchain technology. Cryptocurrency is derived from the word cryptography, which refers to the consensus-keeping process secured by strong cryptography. Blockchain technology functions in managing and maintaining a growing set of data blocks, and this is by using the decentralized or known as the P2P, peer-to-peer -peer network. In blockchain, once a piece of data is recorded, it cannot be edited or changed. To put it in simpler terms, it enables you to send a gold coin via email. The P2P network is a consensus network which allows a new payment system and the transactions of new digital money. Let's illustrate an example. A cryptocurrency like Bitcoin consists of its own network of peers. Every peer has a record of the complete history of all transactions as well as the balance of every account. By the end of every transaction upon confirmation, the transaction is known almost immediately by the whole network. A transaction includes a process where A gives X amount of bitcoins to B and is signed by A's private key. After signed, a transaction is broadcast to the network. The information is sent from one peer to every other peer on the network. Confirmation is a critical stage in the cryptocurrency system. Confirmation is everything. When the transaction is not confirmed, it has the possibility of being hacked and forged. When a transaction is confirmed, it is set in stone. It can't be reversed. It's impossible to be hacked and it's not forgeable as it is part of a permanent record of the historical transaction. The blockchain. The blockchain can be likened to an online ledger where all transactions are recorded and made visible to the whole network. This comes to show that cryptocurrencies are not secured by people or trust, but by complex mathematical equations. It is very secure, and it's highly unlikely that the address of a currency is compromised. Only miners are able to confirm a transaction. 
This is their role in the cryptocurrency network. They record transactions, verify them, and disperse the transactional information in the network. For every completed transaction monitored and facilitated by the miners, they are rewarded with a token of cryptocurrency, for instance, with bitcoins. Since miners play a major role in the cryptocurrency system, let's look at their role in more detail. What are miners doing? First and foremost, principally anyone can be a miner. Miners are needed because of the nature of the decentralized network where they have no authority to delegate tasks and the cryptocurrency needs some kind of system to prevent any form of network abuse. For instance, a person may create thousands of peers and spread forged transactions. It will disrupt the system immediately. In order for you to be a miner, you would need to solve a cryptologic puzzle, which is a set of very complex mathematical questions set by Satoshi Nakamoto himself. If you successfully solve the puzzle as a miner, you can build a block and add it to the blockchain. The miner is also given permission to add a cryptocurrency transaction to the system, which automatically grants him a specific number of bitcoins. This is the only way to create valid bitcoins. Bitcoins can only be generated if a miner can solve a cryptographic puzzle. The level of difficulty increases with the amount of computer power the miners invest. How are the cryptocurrency's value determined? The value of cryptocurrencies are dependent on the market, where the prices of various cryptocurrencies vary a lot and is one of the most fluctuating and volatile markets to date. The price of cryptocurrencies, like any other product, is dependent on the demand and the supply. If more people demand a particular currency, and it is short in supply, then the value increases. More units are mined by miners to balance the flow. However, most currencies limit the supply of their tokens. For instance, the total amount of Bitcoin issued is only 21 million. Therefore, Bitcoin's supply will decrease in time and will reach its final number by 2140. It also explains why Bitcoin's value is higher as compared to other cryptocurrencies. Now you must be wondering, what is cryptocurrency used for? Cryptocurrencies can be spent for different purposes, and the best part is, all transactions are completed online. There are three different transactions that can be performed when using cryptocurrency. 1. Bitcoin trading 2. Personal spending 3. Crowdfunding First is Bitcoin trading. Bitcoin trading can be very profitable for both professionals and beginners. The market is new where arbitrage and margin trading is widely available. The currency's high volatility has also played a major role in bringing new investors to the trading market. Compared to other financial currencies, Bitcoin has very little barrier to entry. If you already own Bitcoin, no verification is required and you can start trading almost instantly. Moreover, Bitcoin is not fiat currency. This simply means the price is not related to the economy or policies of any single country. And unlike stock markets, there are no official Bitcoin exchanges. Instead, hundreds of Bitcoin exchanges operate 24-7 around the world. Because of no official exchanges, this results in no official Bitcoin price where the currency is known for its rapid and frequent price movements. Second is personal spending. You can use Bitcoin to purchase almost anything, from buying cars to traveling the world. In December 2013, Tesla Model S was purchased for a reported 91.4 bitcoins. The dealer located in California continues to accept bitcoin as a means of payment. They have since managed to sell a Lamborghini Gallardo for 216.8 bitcoin. You can also travel the world using bitcoins. Just head to www.cheapair.com. On the 22nd of November 2013, they announced that they would be the first online travel agency accepting Bitcoin. You are able to purchase flights, hotels, car rentals, and cruises. You can even book the whole package. Cryptocurrency also provides the chance for you to give back to society. How? By crowdfunding, you're able to be a part of someone's success story by donating to a crypto crowdfunding project. 
Companies such as Lighthouse have built their crowdfunding platform using Bitcoin. So the perks of donating through this system are you will not be charged for your donation and funds will not be released unless the project meets its criteria. You are also able to withdraw from the campaign before its completion. You have complete control over the donation. Examples of successful funding campaigns are from Dogecoin, which includes campaigns run for NASCAR driver John Wise. The question is, why cryptocurrency? Apart from cryptocurrency being very secure and is run through a decentralized network, there are other properties which projects why cryptocurrencies may be the most talked about topic in town. It's also been considered as potentially an investment vehicle which may garner massive returns. Have you heard of Eric Finman? He's the teenage Bitcoin millionaire who started picking up Bitcoin at only 12 bucks a piece back in May 2011 when he was just 12 years old. He received the Bitcoin as a tip from his brother and a $1,000 gift from his grandmother. Now, he reportedly owns 403 bitcoins, which holds a value of roughly $2,600, where it is accumulated to a stash of $1.08 million in change. There are various concrete reasons why you should invest in cryptocurrency. This will be elaborated further in Chapter 6, but let me give you a brief summary on the perks of buying cryptocurrency. First are their transactional properties. The cryptocurrency transaction is fast and global. Transactions are propagated immediately in the network and is confirmed within minutes. Since the transactions are managed by a global network of computers, they do not take into account your physical location. It's possible for you to send your cryptocurrency to someone in your vicinity or even if they are living on the other side of the world. Second are their monetary properties. The currencies are in controlled supply, thus there is a high chance that the value of the currencies appreciate over time. As I mentioned earlier, Bitcoin will somehow reach its final number somewhere in 2140. Third is their revolutionary property. You have more control of what is going on in your account and how the system works and operates. This is due to the decentralized network of peers which keeps a consensus on account balances and the transactions made. Compare this to your physical bank account, which can be changed and controlled by people you don't see and governed by rules you don't even know exist.